What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Unbreakable Hen. I'm just kidding. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sneaker Hen. Welcome to another video. As you can see by the title, got this really, really big box right behind me. Cleared off the table for it because I got a $2,000 mystery box. All the shoes in there probably will fill up this table. And before I open that, I kind of want to open this really quick. Just got these delivered. Um, I think I got these from, uh, oh, I got these from JD Sports. And I just kind of want to, I want y'all to, like, I want y'all opinion on these. Like, I feel like, like, men want this, but like the kids, not really. These are one of the most recent releases that just came out. And by the box, you probably know what these are now. These are the Jordan 1 Palominos. I personally like this shoe. Um, what about you guys? Let me know. I like that the box is, you know, not just a plain box. They did something different to it. But it's literally like... It's literally like a, a mocha one with black on it, honestly. like This is great that they just dropped because fall is coming up. Um, resale isn't really high on these. Um, you can make a little lunch money if you got a, um, a men's size. Kids is pretty much going for retail, but yeah. Guys, comment down below what you think of these. Did you grab a pair of these? I personally like it, but I didn't get my pair yet. Oh, well, I'm not really in Paris right now because I'm broke and I'm trying to grow this store. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about this big old mystery box. So let's get this thing open. Um, hopefully nothing falls out because I kind of got it leaning over. nice and tight so to my nosy folks out there this is what we're seeing all right so let's get started with this gray pair right here gray box this is a size 11 I believe everything in this box is brand new so this is a size 11 Jordan 1 I said Jordan 1 because I just Talking about the Palomino. These are Jordan 14s. These are the Laney 14s. Very, very clean. Very, very simple shoe. A lot of the OGs like this, or sneakerheads like this. So this is the first shoe in the pack, size 11, uh, Jordan 14 Laney's. Another size 11, um, by the box is pretty self-explanatory. These are the Jordan 3 Cardinals. I'm not gonna lie, I almost said Jordan 1. Um, but, yep, I said it correct, Jordan 3 Cardinals. So two brand new shoes so far, both size 11. Um, this is a $2,000 box, so hopefully all the shoes it's worth at least 2500 25%. So. All right, just by the box, you guys should already know what these are. These are the Jordan 1 UNC toes, size 11, brand new. I personally like this shoe, very simple, very clean. Um, when you see people wearing these, they look really nice, so. That's one thing I would say about these. So the third shoe, another size 11. And I mean, that's good for me because I don't have much, like my size 11, 11 and a half section isn't the most full right now. So this definitely helps a little bit. 
right. Let's go with something that's not an 11. This is a size 6. GS shoe. Oh, wow. Got a playoff 12 and 6. Okay. I think I have a playoff 12 and a 6, so I don't know why I bought this. What? Oh, it's a mystery box. Obviously. I'm saying I bought this when I really, really wanted it, but. Size 6, 12, 12. I mean, if you're just looking for something black and white and you want a Jordan, can't go wrong with this. So, four shoes in. I think the value so far is about. Maybe 700 bucks, 750. Just an estimate. Another size 11, another Jordan 1. These are the Jordan 1 Pollens. Brand new. Yep. Lace bag still attached. It's pretty good. Smells good. shoes in. Uh, I think we're still under a thousand value wise. Um, only because I know playoff 12s and Palmer ones aren't really reselling for much. But I do believe these three are at least 200 each. So that's 200 each. That's 600, 700, 800. And then some of these might be worth like an extra 20, 30 more. So let's say like 850 so far. We got another Jordan 3. These are the Wizards. Now I'm from the DMV, so I root for the Washington Wizards. I don't own a pair of these because I own a pair of the True Blue 3s, which is very similar. My True Blue 3s are chipping and cracking everywhere, but I just prefer those over these right now. So another size 11. We're definitely surpassed thousand dollars worth in value so far with this. And uh, on to the next shoe. All right, we got a foam runner here. This one's a size 12. These are the uh, MX Cinder. Foam runners sell well in sneaker stores, so you always want to have them on deck. They're low key like panda dunks, but the easy pandas. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. So we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shoes in. Um, pretty happy with what I see so far. Got another straggler here. This one's a size 11. Okay, playoff 12 and 11. So we got a 6 and a 12. So we got a his and hers coming in. Uh, they can get some matching shoes if they wear a 6 and one wears an 11. So since these are his and hers, we'll just keep these two together. I feel like I'm going to run out of room soon. You guys want to be separated so I can show off these shoes in the middle. Um, we got five more pairs of shoes left. I think four will fit here, and I'll show the last one here. So, let me see. 200, 400, 600. Let's just say these are worth at least 150, 750. These should be worth at least 200. So we got 750 plus 200 should make that 950. I know the Wizard 3s are selling for at least 200. So right now we're at 1150. Uh, I say the Foam Runners are about 150, and then the Pollens are maybe another 150. So right now I got 1450 in value. 
Um, but I know some of these are selling for a little bit over 200, like some could be 220, 230. So mm, let's just add another 50. So right now, without looking anything up, I think it's worth like 1500. So for me to profit, I need these last five pairs of shoes to be worth at least a thousand combined and it should be a pretty profitable mystery box. So let's see what we got. I'm feeling pretty lucky today, guys. How about you? No? Alright. We got some Jordan 1 Lucky Greens. This is a size 11. It sucks that I have 11 and a half, so now I have 11 and 11 and a half in these. Hopefully, we get both of those people that want these. Alright, so... Lucky green ones. Got some lightning fours. This is size four wide. Jordan four in a size four. I gotta work on my jokes, guys. I'm sorry. I don't really sell much size fours, but since this is a really good shoe. This might help. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the front. Put lightnings. Look really good. Got a Jordan 13. Okay. This is size 11 and a half. These are the Dell's holes. Dell's holes. Jordan 13 Dell Souls, brand new, 11 and a half. Very clean looking shoe, nice. I feel like this is a Jordan 3. Yep. Very school size. Okay, these are the reimagines. This is a size 7, brand new. I do sell quite a few size sevens because a lot of women wear seven and then smaller men wear seven and then the younger boys, they're still grown wear seven. So it's just like, it's a lot of people that wear that size. So these are the reimagined threes. And the last shoe, one of the most highly requested shoes right now, the Jordan 4 Thunders. This is a size seven, so hopefully these will sell very soon. If not, I do understand. Um, back to school season is over. People aren't really shopping right now, but at least I have them in stock now, right? So guys, what do you think? Well, I did say the last, the last five shoes, if they're worth at least a thousand, this will be a profitable box. So what was the last five? Was the lightnings, these, 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 and these. Um, let's say the Thunders, Thunders are like at least 200, I know that for sure. Lightning 4 is 4 wide, I know I can get like 200 for that. Reimagine 3, 7, it should be 200. These Del Sol should be 200 as well, so that's 2300. So if these are worth at least 200, then that's 2500. I haven't did the breakdown yet, but... I think for a store, this is pretty much a good variety of shoes. Like, I don't have anything, like, too hype, too crazy that's, like, it's going to sit or somebody want to trade a whole bunch of bricks for and then I'm stuck with bricks, you know. Like, I have, you know, middle of the tier shoes and then, like, a few, like, lower of the tier shoes, but not necessarily bricks. It's just, like, you know, cheaper stuff that people might be interested in buying, like, the pollens. Um, but... I would say the best shoe here, in my opinion, honestly, I don't even know. Because I'm not really getting personals right now, so I really look at shoes differently. But guys, comment down below what your favorite shoe from this mystery box is. 
And also let me know if you guys think this is a good box. I spent $2,000 on it. Um, and I think because I have a store, like I can probably stretch some of these prices I'm selling for a little bit more. But without further ado, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching today's video. It's your boy Sneaker Hand. I got some more inventory, so check out the website, www.theloopstore.com. Um, it's up and running. I'm still adding to it. I'm still making it look better. It doesn't really look that sexy right now, but I have at least 100 products on the site, so yeah. Check the website. I might have some of these on the site, but I got some more. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. More pairs of shoes in store now, so pull up to the Loop store in your gallery mall if you want some of this. And um, now I'm going to end this video because I need to sell it now. See you guys in the next one. Sneakerhead? I'm Sneakerhead. Bro, you is somebody, bro. Because because we here, we alive, we taking breaths, man. We out here. You're the one on TV. Hey, you, this is the TV. You got the TV. This is the TV. This is the platform, man. You the currency. You the energy. We the culture, bro. What we see on TV is just a micro form. We are the culture.